Tell this me. pastrami, it almost looks shredded. Shredded in a way I will never be. Hey, I'm Dakota. And I'm Jordan. And we are here in New York City. The land of my people, the Jews. New York is known for having a lot of Jewish delis. Not so many as there used to be, but there are still a fair amount. Yeah. And Jewish delis have got pastrami sandwiches. The best sandwich of all time. And that's why we're going on a quest for the best pastrami sandwich. What are we looking for in a good pastrami? All right, so let's start with the bread. So I want a nice tangy rye. The most important thing is the ratio of the meat to the bread. Exactly. I like an eight to one ratio, mm -hmm. so it should be approximately the size of my face. Wait, wait, wait. That's more that. like it. I want a little pepper, mm -hmm. I want a little smoke. I prefer thin, but I am not opposed to thick. I think what's most important, whether or not it's thin or thick, is that it's tender. Nice Just and sick. soft, not dry, an overall wonderful experience while yeah. eating it. And then mustard is just a nice addition. Yeah. If there's good mustard on it, great. Well, you can't go wrong. Great. Come here, come on. Let's, let's get a little secret. serious. Bring it in. Disclaimer, we're not going to Katz's. No. It's an amazing sandwich. Go and try it yourself. But we want to highlight some other places, and frankly, the lines are long. Yeah, we want to avoid the lines at Katz's. And we don't got all day, and we got to go. Yes. I'm excited. I hope I'm you're ready. excited. I'm so excited. Let's go get our first sandwich. Let's See you go. There. My name is Josh Liebel. I'm one of the owners of the Second Avenue Deli and Institution in New York. The restaurant was started in 1954 by my uncle. He was a Holocaust survivor. He really built up the restaurant from nothing, he really made it into not only just a New York institution, but a national institution. Unfortunately, in 1996, he was murdered. At that point, my father uh, stepped in and took over the restaurant. In 2006, my brother and I took over. We opened up in Midtown on 33rd Street. We're really famous for our pastrami. We smoke and cure it ourselves. Our pastrami is machine sliced. It comes super thin, very buttery. It's served on rye bread, um, and then it's your choice what to add on it. And of course, we recommend it coming with our deli mustard. So we are here at a childhood favorite of Jordan's here. Yay! How many times would you say you've been here before? I've been here more than a handful of times. Being from Long Island, being Jewish, this is just like where we would go for a pastrami sandwich, a bowl of soup, Everything is delicious, everything is good, everyone here is amazing. Let's talk about the pastrami sandwich. Okay. It's gorgeous. It is. The I, color of the meat is the first thing that stands out to me. Just like the wow factor. It is everything from start to finish, exactly what you're looking for yeah. when they put it on a plate and on front of your face. Just like smelling the pastrami, you smell the flavor. You oh, smell yeah. the seasoning, you smell the spice. You yeah. can see the layers like kind of <sighs> squeeze. Shall we? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Beautiful. Perfection on a plate. I've never been so proud to be Jewish until I've eaten this sandwich. We nailed it, Jews. We did this. Wow. I'm honored that I'm allowed to eat I'm, this. You're so welcome. Everybody's welcome. Just not for my sandwich, order your own. Rye is a little bit of, a little bit tangy, mm -hmm. and this bread, you can taste that, and it's complemented perfectly by this mustard, which is, it's like a sour, Mustard, it's not spicy. It's no. not a spicy mustard. Their mustard is really good and nice and bright. <laughs> Old fashioned mustard. Oh my God, it's five calories. I can't wow. eat this. Wow, oh my God, going on a mustard diet. <laughs> the meat itself, I can taste the seasonings they've mm -hmm. used to cure it. This is just the perfect slice. This is gonna melt in your mouth. And even though it's kosher, it's gonna mm -hmm. just, mm. 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 It's it like, has that like it's buttery like butter. feel. Mm. Mm. So what, if anything, would you change about the sandwich? I don't think I would change anything. This is exactly what you want for a, a traditional Jewish deli pastrami sandwich. Yeah, can't get over how well seasoned that pastrami is though, because it is like perfection itself. Yeah, finishing that because I know we have more to try, but if I could, I would eat this whole thing. I mean, you could, I just did. I'm a big <laughs> boy, I'm a growing boy, and I'm gonna be like 90% pastrami soon. <laughs> we have a couple more places to go to. Uh -huh. Let's see how they do, let's see how they let's fare. See. My name's Joel Teitelman, and I'm the owner here at Mile and Delicatessen. Mile and Delicatessen is a Montreal-style Jewish deli located in Brooklyn, New York. We specialize in uh, Jewish deli meats made from scratch. Our most famous meat is our Montreal smoked meat. It's uh, basically pastrami's Canadian cousin. I like to say it's what pastrami wants to be when it grows up. New York had a great deli scene, but there was nothing making it relevant for kind of like the next generation. And being from Montreal, we thought, why not do smoked meat instead of pastrami since there was no smoked meat in New York. One of the coolest experiences was we've got to serve smoked meat to the Prime Minister of Canada a couple times. 
and he's even visited the restaurant, so that was a real trip and a real honor. Our smoked meat sandwich is made from cured and smoked beef brisket. We brine it in the solution of pink salt, garlic, coriander, a whole bunch of other good stuff. Basically, we put it in that solution for about 14 days. We take it out, we rinse it off, and then we rub it with a blend of pepper, coriander, paprika, and a few other secret things. We put it in the smoker, smoke it at about 225, we want to get the brisket up to about 180 degrees and that's when it's ready to come out. The flavor is basically a little bit more smoky and peppery than a typical pastrami. It's got a little bit more of a bark to it. We like to consider it a cross between Jewish deli and Texas barbecue, Jubiqueue. Oh, they look amazing. Can we smell them? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Right off of the bat, we've got a nice seeded rye. Oh, yeah. The ratio of meat to bread is exactly how it should be. Perfect. Eight to one. Yeah. This is this is what it's all about. Stack on stack on stack of meat. And I love how like this bread is legitimately sturdy. It's not like flimsy. No. You're not gonna pick it up and it's not gonna be a mess. It's amazing. Oh. I'm excited to try how this tastes different from some of the other places. For sure. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. I like the tangy mustard. Mm-hmm. Mustard adds such a good flavor. Yeah, it does. And the mm -hmm. meat, so tender, but still sturdy of like a meat sandwich, of like feeling that all together, just like the piles of meat on together on a sandwich. The seasoning of the meat is so good, I would not change a single yeah. thing. When it's this tender and the flavor is this nice, it's like luxurious and kind of mm -hmm. smooth, it makes it easy and it's not overwhelming oh, at all. Oh, you could eat this whole thing. Oh, yeah. I could eat this whole thing right now yeah, without the, you. I understand. <laughs> I understand you don't need me. Oh, go. It is delicious from start to finish. My main criticism here is I think the mustard isn't my favorite type of mustard. Okay, I 100% agree, but this meat makes the sandwich. Oh yeah, and I love having a bit of variety and it's nice, It's in eating all these pastrami sandwiches, it's nice to get a little bit of a change in terms yeah. of like the texture of the meat and, and the flavor, because this is a bit smokier than some of the other stuff Absolutely, and like as a Jew, mm -hmm. I appreciate this change. This does not mess the overall feng shui and flow of this traditional sandwich. I've never heard food described as having a feng, feng shui. shui. Well, you know what? We'll take it. We're going to do it. My name is Andrew Wengrover, fourth generation owner of Sarge's Delicatessen Diner in New York City. Sarge's opened in 1964. My great grandfather, Abe Katz, was a sergeant in the NYPD, and they needed a place to uh, hang out, so we decided to open up Sarge's. We specialize in homemade corned beef, pastrami, and all other Jewish delicacies. Back in November 2012, we suffered a devastating fire. This entire restaurant was pretty much up in flames. It was a total loss. It took us 15 months to rebuild, and in March of 2014, we reopened better than ever. A lot of the pictures that are in here, a lot of the celebrity photos, and a lot of the ones on the wall, those are all from the fire. A lot of them were able to be salvaged. Sarge's has been in my family for 50 plus years. And you know, from my great grandfather to my grandmother, to my uncles, my mother. It's nice that I'm able to keep the tradition going and hopefully one day I can pass it down to my son. I think that what sets our pastrami sandwich from everybody else is that it's made with love, it's made in house. Same guys have been making it for 15, 20 years and it's something that we really pride ourselves in. Oh my First lord. First of all, this is the perfect proportion to my face. This, this is... gets like a thousand and one points for size alone. Yeah, we've been talking about a ratio of meat to bread of like eight to one. This is like this 400 is like, to one. Yeah, I think. this is incredible. This is... this is everything and more. Right off the bat, the bread is warm and it, yeah. it's so soft. Bread. Yeah, and you could tell just by looking at the sandwich, this is made with love. Yeah. They cut their meat actually relatively thin mm -hmm. compared to some of the other ones we've looked at. And uh, I like a thin slice. Yeah, me too. I think it melts in your mouth. It melts oh, in your mouth. It's easier to eat. You can't wait any longer. Oh my god. This mm -hmm. is a pastrami sandwich. This is the ultimate of ultimate. <laughs> it's so pastrami big. sandwiches. Um, I could eat this all day, every day. Like, you would die. <laughs> I would die, but I would have a happy death. Oh, that's fair. Is it worth it? Probably. Yes. 100% mm. worth it. This is everything. Well, a bowl of pickles, not this just a everything. pickle. You love pickles. I love pickles. <laughs> all right, let's have some pickles. Okay. Pickle compliments it. I mean, like I wouldn't want a pickle on this sandwich, but like. No, because you don't need anything else on this sandwich. No. That is how good it is. 
What, if anything, would you change on this sandwich? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. If I had to pick a least favorite part of this, it would be sure. it would be the bread. Okay. To me, growing up a New York Jew, like this is the traditional pastrami that I grew up with, and this is something that, like, when I would look forward to eating a pastrami sandwich, this is exactly what I wanted it to taste like. My name is Barry Orenstein, and I've been in the deli restaurant business for 45 years. Pastrami Queen originated in the 50s in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It was then called Pastrami King. 2008, the store moved to 78th in Lexington. Everything is made on the premises. Nothing is store-bought. The uh, number of delicatessens has been greatly reduced in New York. There were only a handful left. Pastrami Queen is one of the last outposts of original delicatessen food in New York, and hopefully it'll be going on to the 22nd century. Pastrami, 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 pastrami. Come on. This pastrami, it almost looks shredded. Shredded in a way I will never be. Never. You can only aspire to be this, to shredded. Be this shredded. This is a pretty moist pastrami. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think what I like about this one is that it's really smoky. Mm -hmm. Even more so than some of the other ones that we've tried, like you really get that smoky flavor in there. Mm -hmm. And there are little sections where there, you get a little bit of fat, which is some of the most flavorful meat. Look at that. The flavor isn't quite the strongest no. of all the ones we've had. It's like somewhere in the middle in terms of the strength of flavor. And I do feel like the smokiness now does no. give it that little bit of edge, yeah. even if the flavor isn't fully there. One thing is biting through. This is so easy. Yes. Like it's this one's very, very tender. Yeah. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try putting a little bit of mustard on mine. Alright, mm. let's mustard this up. Good mustard. I mean it's pretty yeah, it's pretty like standard, like standard yellow mustard. mustard. Mm-hmm. It's good. I do see why people go back and add the mustard to it. Mm -hmm. So we're moving on, let's talk about the bread. Okay, let's get this bread. The bread is very sturdy. Yes, it's still holding up. It is still completely intact. I will say the bread doesn't have my favorite flavor. It's not. No, it doesn't have as heavy of a rye like punch. Mm -hmm. So it's got that nice texture that I'm looking for, but the flavor isn't quite there for the bread. Yeah. There aren't a ton of like traditional Jewish delis left. No. Apparently at one point there were like hundreds, yeah. maybe even thousands. And mm -hmm. now there's like dozens. Well, you think all, so many immigrants came mm. from the late 1800s, early 1900s, and the deli was a community. It was a place yeah. of belonging. It was somewhere to go. And you know, as yeah. culture changes, not a lot of people really find it necessary to be kosher, and things kind of wean out. But places like this are special for that. So unfortunately, due to the coronavirus outbreak, Jordan and I cannot be together to tell you what the best pastrami sandwich is, but she's right here anyway. Hey Jordan, how you doing? Hi Dakota, actually I'm over here. So here's the deal, we've eaten a lot of delicious pastrami and I would recommend going to all of them, please do. Order from all of them. Most of them do delivery or gold belly. You can get them shipped to wherever you live. They're all delicious, but we have to determine a winner. The best pastrami sandwich in New York City comes from Second, Second Avenue, Avenue Deli. Deli. What a good sandwich. Second Avenue Deli has my heart. I felt like I was there with my family eating pastrami. The meat, it's so flavorful, it's so tender. You bite through it, it's like you just bit a stick of butter that's made of meat. The bread was soft. It had such a nice tangy rye quality to it. It was springy, but it didn't crumple under the, the moisture of the sandwich. I cannot say enough good things about the Second Avenue Deli sandwich. It's like the quintessential Jewish deli and I highly recommend going there. I'm literally dreaming about that pastrami sandwich and I wish I could go get it right now, but COVID, social distancing, stay inside. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know what food in your city you think we should cover next. Thanks for watching.